Hey, we're taking a little break and we're just looking at some demos that I got off of the Nintendo eShop. First being Harvest Moon Mad Dash demo, which I'm not sure if I want to get the game. I recall when um, the Boku Jo Monogatari games had, um, it was released under the term uh, Harvest Moon Frantic Farming. And that was when Island of Happiness and Sunshine Islands were the most recent Boku Jo Monogatari games. Speaking of, I do feel like I have to mention this. The games are no longer just Harvest Moon. There is a big difference. The Bokuju Monogatari games were created by Marvelous and uh, Natsume originally localized the games for a long time under the title of Harvest Moon. After uh, Harvest Moon A New Beginning, Marvelous got its own localization company Oh no, it's terrible. The island is like a jungle now. But don't worry, the harvest god has told me what we need to do. Bring lots of crops and eight time seeds to the lighthouse to revive it, she said. We'll help you out, so let's go to the lighthouse together. So Marvelous got its own localization company, and uh, that's when the split occurred. The Bokuju Monogatari games that a lot of people got to know under the term Harvest Moon, I did too. Harvest Moon was the first video game that I played at age 6. They are now being released under the term and the title Story of Seasons. So you had Story of Seasons and then you had a Story of Seasons Trio of Towns on the 3DS. And then you have the Friends of Mineral Town remake on the Switch coming out, which incidentally I have put in a pre-order for the localized version of that game. I want to see how they localize things, and it's actually coming out on my birthday this year. That's actually quite fun. So after Natsume didn't localize the Bokuju Monogatari games anymore, they ended up making their own farming games, and that is what Harvest Moon is now. So Harvest Moon... Uh, Seeds of Memories, Sky Tree Village, Light of Hope, and uh, what what was the first one? I don't know, I didn't get into the Natsume Harvest Moon games until Light of Hope, which I tried out. It's quite fun. It's definitely very similar to what the Bokujo Monogatari games started off as under the term Harvest Moon, but it is its own thing. If you look at it, I have be I'm only mentioning this because I feel like a lot of people are still saying, oh, the Harvest Moon games aren't that great anymore. And I'm like, that's because this isn't the Harvest Moon that you knew, that you know. So Harvest Moon games are now Story of Seasons, and Natsume Harvest Moon games are Natsume's Harvest Moon games. Similar idea, but... Uh, different company, different people making it. They use, honestly, they seem to be using the same storyline all the time. You are on an island or a village and you have to collect eight of something and bring to the Harvest Goddess. In Light of Hope you have to find the five stone tablets to resurrect the lighthouse. And in Seeds of Memories it's the seeds, stuff like that. Now as for Mad Dash, which I'm pretty sure is basically just frantic farming, but with Natsume now doing it. And uh, down there in the corner it says character and I'm pressing up, but it's not letting me do anything, so I'm assuming you have to unlock each character. So, about the Mad Dash ones, they're like a mixture of puzzle games and farming, sort of, if I recall correctly. I recall in Frantic Farming, uh, I enjoyed the game. It, it was nice enough. I'm, I'll am i admit I'm not that great at these puzzle sort of things. I can do the beginning ones just fine, even in Frantic Farming, but I recall uh, there were some puzzle ones and then you had to get scores in the main storyline, so to speak. And the puzzles were mostly, like, the side things to do. I can do the puzzles, it's just as I go further, I'm not very good at that sort of stuff. And I recall in Frantic Farming, 
I was doing just fine of the storyline until I got to um, Lana's storyline and you had to go up against the witch princess. And that's where I just couldn't get enough scores together or avoided um, rocks cluttering my playing field so much that I just couldn't go on. I couldn't win that one. You can pick up and put down crops using side. Connect the same type of crop to make it grow. You can harvest crops if they are shining. Just use down to harvest. Pick up and connect crops using right, then harvest them using down. Go on, give it a try. Hang on. Uh, I am a press. Okay. Oh, I have to pick them up. No. Oh, okay. I see what you want me to do. Okay. I'm pressing down. Okay, I have to press B, not down. Why are you... Oh, wait, no, the switch it doesn't show you the um, button numbers or letters. It tells you only the, um, only the directions. Okay, that was my problem. I was being stupid here because I've been playing on the PS4 a lot and I've been playing on the PC a lot. And I have been playing on the Switch, but it mostly there was with, um, you know, telling me button letters and not just directions, so my fault. Had to do, have to do it again. No problem. I don't mind um, admitting when I do, when I make a pretty stupid mistake. Okay. So, they want A and B, not up, not right and down, yes. Minor things happens. Oh, I can walk outside of the uh, of the field. That is interesting. So, uh, I think I noticed this in Light of Hope itself, but it uh, the movement feels so jumpy. Does that make sense? Like not not jumpy, floaty. Whatever, I got enough points for the... Like... Floaty, watery, fluid... I don't know how to say it. But you do... It doesn't feel precise when I move. That's a bit like ice physics. I always feel like I'm running a little bit. Further than I intend to. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. I can select a player, so I can play as the male character, the female character, the Soleil, the male version, and Soleil, the female version. Soleil is a character that was put into Light of Hope's SE version as a potential um, second player that you could put onto your farm, and uh, was also actually a romance option. Which I didn't do. I'd, I really don't uh, care much for that idea. If you harvest a lot of big crops, you'll activate power mode. Harvesting is unlimited during power mode. Also, crops won't die and fish won't try to escape. Use this time to harvest a lot. Mm hmm.
Oh, one of them just jumped up there. And as you can see, since I picked up those... I don't know if uh, they are peppers or pumpkins. But I picked them up before power mode activated. They do not turn instantly harvestable. Okay. So this seems to be less puzzle and more... Well, it's not the kind of puzzle that Frantic Farming was. Where you had to be like, with puzzles, uh, you have this many moves uh, to harvest slash water all of the crops available on the field, and you have to figure out how to do that. So this is mostly just... it feels like a score attack. That reminds me a bit of, um... Uh... Kirby tri Triple Deluxe, where you needed a certain amount of stars hidden in the levels to progress. That's fair enough. The beach! Coconuts are falling on the beach. Be careful to not get hit. But it's not all bad news. If a coconut falls on another coconut, it makes delicious coconut water. Because that's how science works. And harvesting coconut water will fill up the power gauge. Gauge god, I'm not sure. So turn those coconuts into coconut water so you can activate power mode. Bombs away! Okay, here on the beach is a bit more difficult because I can't really see the yellow on the field because the field is now sand and it's, you know, it's a bit light. Thank you. 
Next, there's this floatiness. I remember this floatiness in Light of Hope. And it was a problem there for me, too. Okay, my dog suddenly was very happy that I did that. That's what happens when you get hit. Back on the farm, hopefully I can see a bit better. If you give a cow hay, you'll be able to collect milk from it. Pick up the hay bale using A and put it in front of the cow. When a cow sees a hay bale, they'll head right over to it and start eating. After it's finished eating, use B to collect milk. Cows will fall asleep for a bit after you collect the milk. Use the time they're sleeping to collect hay bales. Bales. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave the demo here for that. Uh, it's definitely this part seems very much just based on score, so it seems simple enough. Maybe if you keep going on you'll unlock more and more characters. I don't know if the game has anything else like similar to frantic farming, farming having a uh, puzzle based extra mode or something like that. It seems cute enough, definitely fits the Natsume Harvest Moon games, 
I'm still not sure if I'm gonna get it. Most likely not, I'm guessing not. Maybe I'll play the demo a bit more and it'll change my mind. But overall, it's sweet if you want something that's basically a score attack and doesn't seem too difficult, but this is just the beginning so I don't know how difficult it gets further on. It's sweet. You can have fun with it, most definitely. And here's the other demo game that I got off the Nintendo Switch shop, and I got it basically because of the thumbnail image I saw and the title, Blossom Tales the Sleeping King. So I don't know anything about this game, I just grabbed it because these demos are of course free. So Blossom Tales options, controls, movement, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Customize, restore defaults, vibration on. I don't want any vibration, thank you. Camera motion normal, change language. Seems to be in English, so that's fine. From the screenshots I've seen of the game, it does look very old style Tales uh, Legend of Zelda ish. Grandpa! Grandpa! I told you he'd be asleep. He's always asleep. Grandpa! Oh, what? Oh, my little grandchildren. What a nice surprise. He woke up. It's a miracle. Grandpa, please tell us a story. Yeah, a story! Have I told you about the brave elf boy who lived in a magical land called H Yes, like a million times! Oh good, they are referring to the fact that they do look a bit like old-style Zelda games. One we haven't heard yet, Grandpa. Oh, I know just the one. I'll tell you the tale of the Grand Kingdom of Blossom. Yay! In this charming kingdom lived a young girl named Lily. Lily enjoyed a quiet, peaceful life with her grandma. That is, until the day she was waiting for had finally arrived. This story begins on a very special day for our hero. Birthday? Was it her birthday, Grandpa? No. Today was much more special than a birthday. Some days only come once in a lifetime. Oh my, she's still in bed. Come on, sleepyhead, wake up. Good morning, Lily. Oh no, I slept in. You were so excited about today that you couldn't fall asleep, could you? Of course not, I've been waiting for this day my entire life. Just remember, if you ever need advice, you can come to me. You better go before they get started without you. Love you, Grandma! Head up to the castle, dear. You don't want to miss it, do you? The time has come for us to depart on our mission. As you know, me and my husband, my husband and I, two loyal knights, recently fell upon a secret that may prove Crocus's approaching betrayal. We travel to the wastelands in hopes of finding proof that the wizard is training an army of orcs. Our other goal is to slow his plans by slaying his dark mages, forcing him to train a new generation. I leave her in your hands. If we fail to return, please love her like you would your own grandchild. Raise her to be strong and compassionate. Whatever you do, don't let her become a Knight of the Rose. So apparently we are not actually related to this old lady it seems. And we are becoming a Knight of the Rose, which is exactly what shouldn't happen. To which I have to say, I severely hope this Lily knows that she is being, you know, raised by someone else who is not biologically related to her. Because why else would you have that without just lying there out in the open? Oh man. Lily pulled out her map and marked her destination with a yellow square. Settings, log. Head to the throne room for your knighting ceremony. And you have a log there. Okay. Expansions, ingredients. Uh-huh. Sweet. 
This totally doesn't look like Zelda, guys. Some of the strangest people I've ever met live outside this kingdom. My dad says there's a temple somewhere with magical rock creatures. Is he crazy? Lily found one of Alyssa's lost scrolls. Alyssa is a disciple of the Rose in the Chapel of Blossom Castle. If Lily brings the scroll back, perhaps Alyssa will reward her. I visited my friends in the kingdom before sneaking out of the castle. You know, in case I get kidnapped by thieves, boiled by witches or worse. It's a dangerous world out there, but I'm ready to explore places where few dare go. Who knows, maybe I'll even meet my soulmate in another village. Or even better, learn a cool new spell. This Alyssa has her priorities right. A soulmate? Yeah, sure, that's cool. But a new spell? I've heard rumors that to the east of the castle is a dark land where nothing grows. Little Lily, you are expected in the throne room. Come visit me when you are done. Okay. The Rosy Hammer. Did you know all the past kings are buried under this very castle? It's spooky down there. Shop! That heart piece cost 250 gold. No thanks. Please come again. What's a... That item is a handcrafted steel gear. Okay. My grandpa went to cook mushroom soup in the gasping marshes. He's sorta of crazy. Hail King Orchid! The Knights of the Clover are way cooler than the other knights. Lily had just discovered a portal stone. If she activates another one, she'll be able to teleport between them. I love quick travel systems in... uh... in games. Fortunately, Lily made it just in time for the ceremony. Was she going to become the new queen or something? <laughs> Not exactly. And last but not least, I dub ye Dame Lily. What's a dame, Grandpa? It should be Sir Lily. If you say so. I mean, Sir Lily. Arise, Lily. Ahem, Sir Lily. You are now a Knight of the Rose. Knight of the Rose? Cool! The safety of this kingdom will one day rest on you, young warriors. Our wizard Crocus will now bless the new knights. Holy shit, that's a person I thought actually that was like a statue. Certainly, brother. May the Rose be with you, knights. Listen up, recruits. The dungeons are infested with rats and need to be cleared out. Any volunteers? Lily? Great! The entrance to the dungeon is in the hallway left of the library. Check your map if you get lost. With sword and shield in hand, Lily was now a true Knight of the Rose. Why is she not wearing the pink? Okay, so X has me raise the shield. Okay. Why are you still here? Go clear those rats out of the dungeon. It stinks down there. Where's the dungeon? Take the door on the left and cross the library. The steps leading down are in the next hallway. Serve proudly, young knight. Okay. This is left, right? My 
May King Orchard have peace and long life. The best knights know how important our potions are. No one forces us to wear these cowls. We do because they are quite comfortable. The lands to the southeast were once a gorgeous forest, but all that's left now is a stinky swamp. We have disciples in all parts of the kingdom. Well, except the wastelands. Dark magic is strictly forbidden by our order. Oh, so I only learned, like, healing stuff? The first disciple. Long ago, the third king of Blossom fell in love with a beautiful druid woman. Charmed by his tenderness, she accepted his proposal to become his queen. The druids, which forbid marriage with outsiders, cursed the king by turning his heart into stone and making him a harsh ruler. Alone, it took the grief-stricken queen decades to find a remedy. As the hated king rested on his deathbed, he was cured just in time to utter his final words. My love for you was restrained, but always there. The queen passed on her knowledge so future kings may have a shield against evil magic. Cool sword fighting for dummies. Wanna be a cool sword fighter? Then listen up. When surrounded by foes, do not use the roundhouse ability. True warriors kill their adversaries one at a time in tedious fashion. Also, avoid using long-range weapons. Chasing after foes is much cooler, especially if you're shooting deadly projectiles at you. And remember, shields are for wimps. Real heroes don't mind getting hit in the face as this tough act may instill fear in the heart of the enemy. If you survive. Mother's Intuition As I watch my two princess mature, I grow more convinced which one should take their father's throne. Orchid's benevolence, even at such a young age, never ceases to amaze me. I've lost count of the pairs of his own shoes he has gifted to children from the village. Crocus is different. He'd rather lock himself away and study than make friends. Although he lacks what a king needs, I know he'll be happy serving his brother with his magical knowledge. Together, they can keep our kingdom joyous and protected. Sure thing, deceased queen. Also, the music is a little low, even without my settings. Sometimes I feel like there are too many of us. Yeah, better too many than too little. Did you know all the past kings are buried under this very castle? It's spooky down there. Blossom Castle will never fall as long as we are here to protect it. I'm pretty sure your face is going to be very red soon. Shouldn't you be at the training grounds, recruit? No, I'm supposed to go to the... something. Uh, library. I think I passed the stairs or something. There are all kinds of weapons out there to master. Mm-hmm. Oops. Blossom Castle Chapel. Fortunately, I can still read it despite having just destroyed it. It's been a long time since Crocus shared any new spells with us. Even knights are welcome in the library, but keep it down. I've heard rumors that to the east of the castle is a dark land where nothing grows. I hope my uncle Langford is okay. He's a botanist who lives outside these walls. Are you Alyssa? Young disciples like me aren't allowed to leave the castle alone, but I couldn't help it. So I used powerful spells to sneak out and stay safe out there. Everywhere I went, I wrote down my thoughts on scrolls and put them in my robe. But it wasn't until I arrived here that I noticed my scroll case had a big hole in it. I know my precious writings are still out there. If you see them, will you bring them back? I'm so glad you found one of my scrolls. I want to make a book out of them, so please try finding the rest. The number of scrolls still out there is... 19. Do I not get anything from you? Fine. So, uh... 
I used to live up in Pinecone Village, but I got tired of always having chapped lips. What does that have to do with it? Mushroom season just started and I already used all my soup recipes. No? Oh. Thank you. Can't open that. Wait, was the king talking about his left? For the library? No, I did go into the library, right? Pretty sure I did. Um, I hope the castle cooks are serving mushroom soup today. You people seem to love mushroom soup? I mean, I'm sure it tastes good if you enjoy mushroom soup. Or mushrooms themselves. I personally don't. Not, uh, I don't like the taste of mushrooms. Oh, yeah, I walked past the stairs. Lily entered the cold dungeon, unaware of the dangers that lay ahead. Well, I just swung my sword at something and uh, did something. That's how you do things. The statues looked as if they had been moved recently. Red potion. Lily found a health potion. She could use it any time by reaching into her bag and drinking it down. I keep wanting to use B for my, uh, for my sword. Yeah, come at me, you can't do anything. I am behind the safety of this thing. Of the bars. Crumbly. They do restore themselves, that's interesting. Lily could reach lower levels by going to the edge and hopping down. She was allowed to hop down? To do a roundhouse, Lily had to hold out her sword and release after building enough energy. She can also perform a jumping strike by slashing during the roundhouse. Lily froze in disbelief as waves of arrows shot over her rickety path. I bet her shield can help with arrows. Somehow I suddenly have to think of um, the third Donkey Kong game, especially at that level where you had to hide, you, know, you had to climb 
a tree and you had to hide behind a shield because enemies were throwing stuff. I don't know this seriously it's just logic for me you know here you have this one and then that means it's not this one again it has to be a different one so let's try that one ah, I can't move this one just a matter of um I see your boss. A second portal stone. Lily can now travel between all the portal stones she finds. Sweet. Also, pretty sure there's a boss now. In the deepest room of the dungeon, Lily found the source of the noise. It was the King of the Rats. Oh, cute! The dangerous Rat King would be Lily's first real challenge as a knight. Squee hee 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 hee! You'll make a fine meal for my children once I blow you to smithereens! Um. Super Mario World 2 with the. Oh, that was it. Where you had to throw that stuff at the frogging. With a full heart, Lily was now even stronger. My science teacher says explosives are dangerous. Rightfully so, Chris. But her young knight could use them to destroy enemies, obstacles in her path, and cracked walls. Neat. After defeating the Rat King, a curious Lily entered the secret doorway. It led to a strange room filled with many smelly odors. So, she's in a bathroom? What? No, no, it was Crocus's secret lab. Cool, I wish I had a secret lab. It was there that Lily would find an awful note revealing Crocus's evil plan. Um... My parents didn't find this themselves. Do not read unless you are me. Soon I will finally be powerful enough to cast a sleeping spell on my foolish brother King Orchid. With him out of the way, I will amass an army in the wastelands and use it to launch an assault on the kingdom. The flowery throne of Blossom Kingdom will be mine at last. After reading the note, Lily ran off to warn the king as fast as she could. Why not take the thing along? But unfortunately, she was too late. Crocus had already started his dreaded curse. No! Oh, how I've waited for this moment, dear brother. You will sleep soundly while I conquer your kingdom with my own dark army. Also, I was nice enough to put you onto a slab, so you have a bed. Your loyal subjects will soon bow down to their new wizard king. Stop! What's this? You chose the wrong wizard to interrupt, feeble recruit. Sleep, my brother. Sleep! Thanks for playing! Well, uh, that was the demo, and yeah, the game is fully aware that it's very much like The Legend of Zelda. And it is very tongue-in-cheek about it, too, so I don't mind that. 
Uh, definitely seems fun, especially if you are someone who enjoys the older style Zelda games like Link to the Past and even Link's Awakening. You know, mostly the GameCube or the Super Nintendo ones. Very cute. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the game. I might because it's just, you know, it's a nice little action adventure to play through. I hope you enjoyed seeing these demos. Okay, there were only two, but you know, there were only so many demos I was actually interested in that were uh, being shown to me right now. Maybe I got you to want to try them, or even get the games themselves. And we'll continue with the next stuff, whatever that may be.